This is Homeless Encampment 10 City 4, a drug and alcohol free homeless camp located in the Snoqualmie Valley of Washington State. Located just minutes from my home in North Bend, the camp is a home to nearly 40 residents. Most work, many full time, but they aren't earning enough to secure steady housing. Homelessness happens for a variety of reasons, but all have found themselves living in tents without running water or sanitation, relying on generators for limited power. I first volunteered at the camp about 18 months ago, providing a simple meal with our church, but I found myself unable to walk away. It became more than a social issue, but an act of love. As I got to know the residents, I developed friendships that drive my passion to serve this community. Today, along with meal service, I lead donation drives, including a holiday gift drive last year, where I was able to ensure that every resident received exactly the gift that they asked for at Christmas. Fighting poverty is deeply personal for me. My great-grandmother raised nine children in poverty while my great-grandfather worked in the Mississippi coal mine. My grandmother tells us that she wore dresses made of potato sacks and ate government-sponsored cheese. Although she worked her way out of poverty, she never forgot her humble beginnings or the help she received along the way. The residents of Tent City 4 are simply looking for the same opportunities. If there is one thing that you can take away from this video, let it be this. These are not throwaway people. My friends at Tent City 4 are friendly and funny, kind and smart, hardworking, and most importantly, deserving of our help. I'd like to invite you to meet some of my amazing friends from Tent City 4. Um, my name is my name is Jerry, and uh, I am right now. I am a camper at um, uh, um, uh, t at tent at Tent City Four. This camp is very organized. It's ran. We have a code of conduct. Our, um, our donors that come in, um, um, they help us. They help us out a lot, and if it if it wasn't for our donors, I don't know what we would do. And we appreciate the donors that do come in and help us. Over half of the personnel in this camp work. We've had nine people this year alone that has got their uh, housing and has moved on but are still coming back to donate their time and effort to help the camp. But um, on, the, on, the, on the downside, um, when, uh, when, we're, when we're out in public, uh, some people just, it seems as if, some people just um, turn their heads away from us. And that hurts.